Hello, how are you doing? Paul here with another video. Today I'm in the Lake District village of Coniston. I'm going to have a look around the village centre, go up to the Ruskin Museum, find out some history about Coniston and Donald Campbell and the Bluebird. And then I'm going to go down the lake and see if I can catch a glimpse of the steam yacht gondola as she motors away across the water. I'm starting off in the centre of the village by the Coniston Ruskin Avenue car park where the tourist information centre is. It's just over there. This road down in this direction will take you to Hawkshead if you follow it along and up at the top of this road here where the bin wagon is going you get to the top of there you take a right it takes you up to Mumbleside take a left and it'll take you down to the south coast of Cumbria down to Overston and in that direction starting off here then what we got down this end well we've got a nice little coffee place a couple of cafes hairdressers and we've got the Crown in pub just ahead of us there with the beer garden out front there are some public toilets here they're 30 pence for a pee if you want to pee and they only take pee as well they don't take cards it's cash only but there is a free toilet just up and round the corner well I say it's free it's donations accepted it's run by the parish council I'll show you that when we get up there Moving along from the public car park, which is down there, got the Crown Pub here in front of me. Move around and walk on up into the village. Got a nice cafe there and a green grocers. On this side of the road, it's the parish church. And along the wall at the moment, a nice long chain of painted rocks. You know. Just next to the green grocers here is the first gift shop we come to. Full of gifts for every occasion. Look at that. At the top of the road with the village church in front of me, car park was down in that direction. We come to the junction I was talking about earlier, turn right takes you to Ambleside, turn left takes you to Ulverston. Also turn left, it takes you to the lake. Turn right, it takes you to the Ruskin Museum. I'm going to go right up to the museum and then I'm going to come back down and go to the lake. Behind me here we've got the Udale Inn. And just on the other side of the road there, the Black Bull Inn and Hotel. Walking up from the bridge on this side of the road, we've got a co-op just here. Indian restaurant on the other side of the road, a little gift shop, an ice cream shop, a little hardware shop there, and a further gift shop called Higgledy Piggledy. Water sports centre and a cafe. And on this side we've got a an outdoor shop here on the left hand side. And moving further on another outdoor and gift shop just here and just past this is the Ruskin Museum which is just to the left here well I'll come back that way because just further on here we have got another little cafe let's go and have a look at that and here we are it's Herdwick's cafe a little outdoor seating area as you can see just behind that car there this road here carry on down that way you get to Ambleside what I'm going to do though is turn back and head on to the Ruskin Museum just up the alleyway before you get to the museum is this um, vintage stroke antique type shop just had a look in through the door looks like some interesting stuff in there if you're into your vintage kind of stuff but here we are this is it this is the Ruskin Museum the story of Coniston Bluebird Donald Campbell let's go take a look and here I am inside the Ruskin Museum keep your voice down it's a museum Have a look around. This first area is all about Coniston. Let's have a little look what 
be gone. Well, look at that, that's pretty cool. It's like a wild boar. Made out of roots and stuff. Cool. Something here about the copper mines. Copper all mined locally. And some information about the geology of the area. Good display on climbing and um, a bit about Coniston Mountain Rescue. And some old equipment in here as well. There's a model of the steam yacht gondola. Hopefully you get to see that a bit later on. All the little, little houses. Moving into the Bluebird Wing, which is all about Donald Campbell and the Bluebird. The only thing missing from this wing, which should actually be here and should be there, is the actual Bluebird itself, which is uh, caught up in a bit of a legal dispute at the moment between the museum who own it and the people who actually restored it. Um, at the moment the, the boat is being held by the restorers and they're not releasing it back to the museum at the moment which is a bit of a shame because it would be nice to see it, it should be here. These are original parts from the Bluebird, from when it was brought up from the bottom of the lake. That's a jet engine that powered it, look at that. This section of the museum is dedicated to John Ruskin, who the museum is named after. Um, just been reading about him. Um, born in 1819, died in 1900. One of the most influential Victorians, based on his, his writings and lectures. He was interested in geology, natural history, and also an artist.
here outside the museum around the back or around the front depending on which way you come in is a, a little model village look at that all little slate houses little bridges there's a church there look cool there's also some dry stone walling here to have a little look at and over the dry stone wall more little houses so there you go that is the fantastic Ruskin Museum well worth a visit if you're here in Coniston or in the Lake District if you want to know more about the museum and you want to know more about the attempts to get the boat the bluebird back here where it belongs in the museum check out the website ruskinmuseum.com that's ruskinmuseum.com right then I'll head off now back down into the village and back down to the lake and I'll see if we can catch a glimpse of the steam ship gondola the steam yacht gondola to give it its proper title back down here at the junction by the Udale Inn um, Ruskin Museum off in that direction I'm heading now down in this direction to go down towards the lake on the right hand side there we've got a hidden treasures gift shop and we'll just head round this way past the garage and the spa and the post office and head down to the lake almost forgot to mention the free toilets I was telling you about are just there just beside the garage and just by the bridge it's about half a mile from the village down to the lake and if you can't get parked in the village center there's also a couple of car parks here we've got car parking in the school there's the school there they provide parking when the school is not in session and also there's parking down by the uh, down by the the pier itself where the boat docks just before you get to the lake itself, you've got a, a little retail outlet here with a few shops. You can have a little look around while you're on your way to the lake or on the way back. We've got an outdoor clothing store. We've got an adventure place, a gift shop, also sells ice cream. And around here we've got Coniston Fudge Company. Ooh, the choices, the choices. Footpath or fudge, footpath or fudge. Footpath now, fudge later. <laughs> Made it down here to the lakefront and there she is in the distance, steaming away over to us. It's the steam yacht gondola. So there she is, that is the Steam Yacht Gondola, uh, a rebuilt Victorian steam-powered passenger vessel, originally launched in 1859, built to carry passengers from the Furness Railway and Coniston Railway. In service till 1936, retired, converted to a houseboat between 1946 and 1979. By that point it was pretty derelict and uh, the National Trust then took it over and completely refurbished it. And you can now take circular tours of the lake of Coniston on the steam yacht gondola. I did say footpath now fudge later it's later so I've got the fudge let me open it up and show you what I've got what I've got from left to right if you can see it I'll put it down I'll put it down on the ground and you can see it a bit better there we go what I've got is that is chili chocolate chocolate orange cherry vanilla and Irish coffee fudge yum yum just having a bit mm, of the chili chocolate mm. put, put that back in the box while I get going that is almost it then for our trip around Coniston we've been around the village had a look at what it's got to offer we've also been up to the 
excuse me, Ruskin Museum. That's quite a chilly kick in that. Been up to the Ruskin Museum and had a look in there. And we've been down to the lake and had a look at the steam yacht gondola. That'll do for now. I will see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe for more videos in and around Cumbria and the Lake District. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.